Alright, we've all seen that cutscene, right? Hi, I'm Tom Chick. Let's play a little Devil May Cry 5. Uh, this should be coming through Twitch and YouTube. If it's not, uh, let me know. You should be seeing video. Markinson, McMaster. McMaster, what level are you in uh, Division 2? Space Rumsfeld! I don't want to out anybody's identity, but Space Rumsfeld is a fella whose name rhymes with Goose Merrick. Isn't the Elephant Man's name John Merrick? Just random. I only know that because of David Lynch's movies. All right, I'm not going to be. We're just going to uh, play this. Here we go. Uh, McMaster, I recently rewatched. Speaking of Bill Paxton, <coughs> True Lies. Ooh, there's a movie that uh, I, I would say doesn't hold up, uh, but I'm not even going to say that because I'm not sure it ever held up. Oh my god, that movie's wretched. All right, what have you guys seen lately? Mike Cathcart! <laughs> Wait, is that how it works? Multiplayer is McMaster is just playing and he jumps into my game? Space Rom Soul wants to know why the devil would cry. Oh, why wouldn't the devil cry? Right, like he may cry, but why would, I don't know what the whole deal is. It's... It's like calling Resident Evil Resident Evil. It's just nonsense words, and eventually you're so used to saying them that you don't realize, oh yeah, that is nonsense, isn't it? Look at me, I'm on mission eight. I think I'm nearly done with this game. No way! It's a little movie trivia. Did you guys know that Bill Paxton was in the movie Aliens? Which James Cameron did, uh, I think that was two movies before True Lies. I guess there's no point thinking about it. Yeah, Tom Arnold, the real star of True Lies. True Lies is so bad. So, <clears throat> I have a theory. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I enjoy watching these. Let's enjoy this. Perfect timing. Now we're starting to act like a team. Ew. You out flirting with me? Knock it off. Get in the car. No, what? She's into him? Boo. She can do better. <laughs> right, Chet in Weird Science. Now, I think most people know this by now, but uh, Bill Paxton was in Terminator. He's one of the punks who gets his clothes stolen. He's got the exchange with Arnold Schwarzenegger about how uh, laundry day, no clothes clean or whatever that is. Still not sure entirely how the arms were. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm a little more confident with the arms. Uh, let's just start. Oh, I want to try to turn off that... Uh... How do I turn off that auto mode? You know what? Hold on. Sorry. Bear with me. Hey, there's a lady. She's got clothes on now. Mike Cathcart says, no, she's not into him. She almost hit him with the truck. What was that? Take a moment and take a deep breath. Eh, she better not be into him. Maybe her and V. But not... Not... Uh... Nero, not Dante. Come on, Nico. Uh, okay, let me see. I want to turn off like that auto thing. Because I feel like I'm ready to try things on my own. That auto assist. It's like something in a car game. Perform intricate combos with simple button inputs, but earn fewer bonus points. You know, this is the way to make a game. They get it. Who made this? Capcom gets it. My incentive to turn this off is I get more points. Oh, I could toggle it on and off in game. Oh, that's cool too. Man, this game gets it. It just gets everything. Five stars. 
Greg Ambrose, what's up, chickadees? Uh, I want, true story, I once dated Miss Manners' daughter. Miss Manners' a woman named Judith Martin, and I went to school with her daughter. I, that date, I, I, you know what kind of, we hung out with. She was a friend of mine, and she once said to me, never make fun of anyone's name after they're 14 years old, because by that point, they've heard it all. And I don't think Greg Ambrose was making fun of my name. I think that was a, a term of endurance, so much appreciated. But it made me think, you know what, after, after someone's 14, you can't make fun of their name. And that's straight from the genetic material of Miss Manners. Christy Gaines, Taco Bell Run. Christy Gaines, get me a... Uh, what do you call those uh, Mexican pizzas? I think they're Mexican pizzas. Get me one of those. Chris Markson might be going to watch an Icelandic movie called Under the Tree next weekend. What is that, Markson? Should we know about it? <laughs> Craig Ambrose, I'd never make fun of a person's name, Thomasina. Two movies that I love where the main character's name is Tom, but it's a chick. Name the movies. Go. All right. Oh, Space Rumsfeld. Is there a difference between Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman? One is dead. That's sad, Master. Guess there's no point thinking about it. Ellen. Ellen's first... Uh... Okay, I'm going to watch this again because I, I want to verify. She's... Yeah, I think she's into him. Uh, Ellen Ripley. Hicks' name was it... Was it Dwayne? Was that his first name? You have flirting with me? Knock it off. Get in the car. Oh my god. I think she's just repulsed by him. That's what I'm going with. Uh, Under the Tree, the Icelandic movie. It's a, he, Markinson says it's a dark comedy. He's two years old already. It seems like maybe a movie worth watching. All right, Markinson, keep me posted. Markinson, uh, you might have seen this. I reviewed a movie on the uh, quarter three called Prospect that is for you. You should definitely see Prospect. <laughs> Mike Galgar, she's freaking out because she almost lost control and, and the truck and hit him. Okay, that I'll buy. Uh, I'm just going to mission start, and um, I hope my muscle memory kicks in. Are you guys going to see Captain Marvel a second time this weekend? Raise your hand if you're doing that. Well, no point in turning back now. Mark, isn't that picture from Prospect is almost a spo it's not really a spoiler. I mean you know it's a space movie. But yeah, that is that is a lovely shot. They get a they get a, they use that a couple of times. They get some lovely mileage out of that sh that shot. Oh, uh, was she a great big fat person, Wild Bill? That was Ted Levine, Greg Ambrose, who was great in a movie called Banshee Chapter, Banshee Chronicles, Banshee, Banshee Chronicles, Banshee Chapter. I'm going with that. All right, why is Punch by right now that I don't have the cat and the bird with me? So why is Punch, by which I mean sword, B is Punch? Oh, look at that! I control time. I'm like Doctor Strange. Where's X? I'm reluctant to hit X. Oh, X is... Oh, my gun! Do I... Okay. And there's reloading. Where's the A button? Oh, pfft. <laughs> That's all. When does the A button ever not jump? Vinwraith. Nothing makes me want to see a movie succeed quite like a bunch of toxic assholes trolling it. Exactly, Vinwraith. Black Panther. Captain Marvel. Did Wonder Woman get trolled? Probably not, because, you know, what are you going to do with Wonder Woman? Wonder, wasn't Wonder Woman... Didn't she begin as a bondage fantasy? I might have that wrong. Maybe it's just... Oh, R is lock on, right? Okay, there. Oh, look. Oh, look, you just fell over. <laughs> okay, watch this. I'm going to try the air... No. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, I'm going to try the air hit. See? I can do... I can make things happen without auto. I'm glad I said Wonder Woman got a lot of shit. Okay, let's see if I punch forward. Be gone. Be gone. That's the be gone attack. Alright, so far I've only got a D. Get a 
It's like hellscape. This is pretty cool. Oh, this is not a good place to park. Not when you want to leave your car. You can have a hard time maneuvering out of this area. Okay, let's try the punch forward attack. And then the punch in. Oh, okay, it dies too quickly. This looks like something. I guess it's not. Oh, hi! Should have gotten better than a D. Christy Gaines. Apparently, some people pointed out that Mexican pizza at Taco Bell has very little beef. Christy Gaines, I'm sure, has the bare minimum of it. Uh, okay, wait. I have to all tap over and read. Greg Ambrose. This game is not good for one's self esteem. I just wailed on that guy and it said I was dismal, right? <laughs> but I can only go up from there, Greg Ambrose. Jason McMaster, Wonder Woman didn't get as much shit as Brie Larson, but Larson hasn't done any scummy sexual assaults. Oh, no, wait, wait, not as much as Brie Larson. Wait, what? Whatever McMaster, whatever McMaster is saying approvingly about Brie Larson, I agree with. Ben Wraith says, Antigos used to have better Mexican pizza. Oh, so Mexican pizza isn't just some weird Taco Bell invention. Ooh. You guys know to pronounce the T in Gal Gadot, right? Don't go running around depriving her of her Israeli heritage pretending she's French, calling her Gal Gadot. Christy Gaines, uh, Gal Gadot got into politics earlier this week. Oh, right, what did she... Oh, about the Benjamin Netanyahu thing. Right, right. Which I say, you know what, good for her. Been right. Taco Bell meat isn't entirely meat. A lot of it is grains. This is a big scandal a while back compared to... Which I'm okay with. I mean, you know... You don't go for its nutritive, nutritive. <laughs> you don't go for its nutritional value. Okay, let's see if I can do better than dismal. Well, I'm not gonna do that with the gun. So far, crazy. That's way. Dismal. All right, something to see. Now I wonder if I was a game designer, those 21 points there that I got. Never stood a chance. If I'd gotten an A on auto mode, wouldn't I have also gotten around 21 points? I don't know, but that's how I do the calculus of it. Zarya Dawson is dating Cory Booker. Who's Cory Booker? Is that the guy who plays Ernest Hemingway in uh, that Woody Allen movie? I don't know. Like Cory Booker. No, wait, wait, wait. Not the. Hold on. Politician court? Wait a minute. Zara Dawson can't be dating court. That's not true. Oh my god. Why is she doing that? Or why is he doing that, actually? That's Because she's weird. She's like weird and crazy. No, Cora. <sighs> is Cory Booker talking about people? Oh, that's d Okay. Uh, I don't know. Wow, huh. Yeah, my mind immediately, if you just said, yeah, I just went to showbiz. Why is Rosario done? Has he said it, or it's just, maybe she's just making this up? Like she's dating him in her mind. Oh no, I'm lost, which way do I go? I can never find out. Oh, but look, the game tells me. No, she was dating, like, Howard Schultz. That, yeah. Oh, I didn't even use my arm in that last fight. I forgot about my magic arm. Uh-oh, verticality. Guess that's my ride. 
I mean, I appreciate how outspoken Rosario Dawson is, but she really is a little loony. Alright, so it looks pretty straightforward. I'm out of, uh, I mean, I'm full of arms, so I can't pick that up. So Overture does what? Is that the time arm? No, no, it's the electricity arm. Alright, I missed that. Here I am, playing a jumping puzzle. Let's so know if Chris Pine is still acting. What have I seen him in lately? But he definitely is. Let's see, what has he done since Z for Zachariah? Sweet. Bloodstreams. These conduits snake through. What is this? What? Cliffoth? Cliffoth? That's not a real word. Craig Ambrose. So this is like God of War, basically. That's a fair comparison, Craig Ambrose. But wackier. Way more fun. Way less grim, dark, and serious. Vinwraith, Tec oh, very good, Vinwraith. Technically, God of War is like this, since Devil May Cry is the older franchise. Yeah, God of War kind of is like a, hey, let's West let's thoroughly westernize uh, Devil May Cry brawler game. Uh, hell or high water, Markinson, very good, right. That's that's the vintage, Chris Pine. Mike Cathcart, he was in Spider-Verse. Which one was he in Spider-Verse? Let me guess, Spider-Pig. So, all right, bloodstreams. Offer yourself to the flow, and it will carry you deeper into the tree. All right, so one-way doors. Where did this go? Lots of games I I might hide something back here. I knew it, but I'm full of arms. All right, I'm going to offer myself to the bloodstream. Chris Markinson, he was Peter Parker. Oh, in the very beginning. The original, like the opening Spider-Man. Oh. The schlubby Spider-Man. No. He was the schlubby Spider-Man, like the modern one. That's like a... Really? Wow, cool. Okay. Uh, Marcus, he's in a TV series called I Am the Night. What is I Am the Night? I feel like I should know what that is. Greg Ambrose, I thought Jake Johnson was Peter Parker. I did too, Greg Ambrose. Ew, gross. <laughs> That's not going to come out of your hair. Oh, he's like the, the fat kid in Willy Wonka, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Augustus Gloop. Cathcart, the schlubby one was Jake Johnson. Oh, whoops. Oh, man, that arm is awesome. Here, let me use my arm on something else. Something, come here. I need to be breaking my arms. I have there's, there's so many of them here. Is that a difficulty level thing? Like that I'm finding so many arms? Are there fewer of them on harder difficulties? I am the knight is the Black Dahlia thing. Oh, okay. I kind of lost interest then. Get out of my sight! <laughs> it's quite the taunt! Wow, you really told him. A. Apocalyptic. Sweet. Oh, wait, let's see if I can sustain it. Oh, these get cleaver guys! Wow, look at that! It's not doing much damage, but...
What did I did I do that? Oh, my arm chain. I lost an arm. Oh, I've lost two arms. What? How did that happen? Oh, I've got the whip, though. What is that? Oh, coin. I've seen those before. What was that? Was that my arm? I think it was. Nope! There, my arm broke. Ambrose. Oh, according to IMD. Yeah, yeah, Marshal Ali was the uh, the uncle. It was super cool. I love the sound effect for that thing. That, what was he, the Prowler? That was a really cool character design. Uh, where's the exit at? Sweet. I've used some arms. Here's some Replacement arms or replacement arm? What is this one? Oh, I had no arm. Overture. I wish I could look up what Overture does. The arm types aren't in here, are they? No, they're not. Skill list? No, that's not. I guess you just have to remember. Oh, I guess you have to look at it. Doesn't this pop up a grappling hook point for me? Uh. Oops. There it is. Is it B? X. B. I'm going to try X. No, X is the gun. B. No. Y? How do you grappling hook? Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, you have to lock onto it. Right? Lock on, and then B? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I eventually figure these things out. Alright. Going down is the only way, huh? Okay, so you guys are figuring out who Todd Holland is, and Tom Holland... Now do uh, Tom Hollander, and then look up who directed Fright Night. Yeah. That looks like a thing right there. I want that. Wait, Todd, the Larry Sanders Todd Holland is the Fright Night guy? Is that true? Baphomet. Overture. What does the overture arm do? Oh, right, the electricity. Sweet. I 
I see, so you hit B if you don't have a lock on. Wait, I'm still unclear on this. With a lock on, B pulls them to you, and without a lock on, it does its special ability. Like that, right? Do I have that correct? Very good, Greg Ambrose. I love Tom Hollander. Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Exactly. <laughs> and also in Hannah. He's awesome in Hannah. Then Wraith, Tom Holland's one of my favorite history nonfiction authors. Oh, and then there's Todd Howard. <laughs> Only turned auto on. I meant to do that. All right, let's go through here. Christy Gaines, whoever the kid is, they have playing Spider Man and all that silly Avengers crap. You do or don't like him? I love him. If you've seen uh, The Impossible yeah. with Naomi Watts, uh, also in a goofy young adult uh, apocalypse movie called Where I Live Now, he's noticeable, noticeably good in that. Uh, there's a movie where Joel Kinnaman plays his dad, and they go out in the woods to shoot guns, and it gets weird. I think that's Tom Holland as well. Ooh, looky there. I found a secret passage. Uh, by which I mean a hole in the ground. All right. Well, there was something down there. I think some red orbs. Yeah, Tom Holland, is your, the mnemonic for that, Tom Holland is the smaller one, because he's a kid. Tom Hollander... The larger one. Also, Tom Hollander in uh, Night Manager. Yeah, it wasn't much of a secret passage, Hazy Silhouette. Divinity statues. Use them to trade red orbs for skills and items. So, is this basically just the van? I'm going to be disappointed if this is just another. Because I want, I want Nico to drive her van down here into hell. Lame. Seriously lame. Come on. <laughs> um. Where's the one that makes my grappling hook go longer? Wait, are these new? Are they? No, that can't be right. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm still not even using the arsenal of my full arsenal in terms of what I've actually got. Uh, press B and towards. RB and toward. Magnificent rushing attack that sweeps up surrounding enemies. An improved one with extended range. Uh, yeah, let's get that. Whoops, no, no, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's learn it. All right, so these are just sword powers. What is combo C? Why, why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> I don't know that I have the rhythm down for these. Press Y, then Y, and then tap Y repeatedly. That does look at the thrashing. He's giving that little Ant-Man guy there. Edge of Winter, Markinson. Thank you. That's the Joel Kinnaman Tom. Uh, the younger kid in that, I recall... I think the younger kid in that is really good as well. <clears throat> I hated that movie, though. This looks easy. Let's see. Press Y, 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 then Y. So, one, two, three, one. <clears throat> Let me just see if I can get the timing down. So, Tom Holland wrote Rubicon, Persian Fire, Shadow of the Sword... Dynasty. Oh, that series from the 80s. I remember that. And quite a few others. Really good reads. Okay. One, two, three, and then one. One, two, three. That, one, that can't have been it. <coughs> Let's see. One, two, three. And what if I just... Yeah, that's the normal, so I don't think I'm hitting any special rhythm. Let's see. One, two, three. No. 
One, two, three. Was that it? No, that can't be right. Hold on. Let's see if I just spam the Y button. Yeah, so just spamming the Y button, he does that three and then smacks the ground. I'm not entirely sure what the combo is. One, two, three. I'm not doing it, am I? That's not it. Why? 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 Well, hold on. Let me make more of a gap between the three and the last Y. One, two, three. I'm not doing it, am I? Is that it? I can't tell if I'm doing it. Oops. All right, well, let's get out of here. Frankly, the time to get good is later. I'm just kind of enjoying the content here. Uh, 32,000. Let's uh, splurge. Uh, what are these? It's the dodge ability, right? <coughs> After executing the table hopper, which is the dodge, right? Uh... Oh, so it's like a double dash dodge. And I imagine it's like a triple dash dodge. Yeah. Is that worth 25000 though? Mm. Oh, this is what I wanted. The longer range wire snatchers. Wait, 300? No. 3 million? What if I was to go online now and micro buy red orbs? How much would this cost me? I'm actually going to tab out and look. So is that a three million or three hundred thousand? So three million. Let's do some math. <clears throat> let's just say that I'm a super impatient gamer, and I'm like, thanks Capcom for letting me buy th my way through the game instead of actually playing it. What would three million orbs cost me? Red orbs. So let's see. Three hundred thousand are six dollars. So sixty dollars. <laughs> Wait, did I do my math correctly? If three hundred thousand red orbs are six dollars, three million red orbs would be sixty dollars. Oh my God, Greg, Amb Greg Ambrose says. I assume that's just the I win button, right? Mike Cathcart says it's better than normal taunt. You can't put a price on that. What's the normal taunt? I wasn't aware there was taunting in this game, although I know you guys did mention it before. All right, let's go spend sixty dollars. Alright, I'm not going to buy stuff yet, because I don't really know what I'm doing, even with the stuff that I already bought. And plus, I don't want to buy from this divinity statue. I want to I want to frequent uh, Nico's van. Yeah, that's like going to Amazon.com instead of your friendly local gaming store. Wait, am I going the right way? Yes. Vinwraith, you've got it right, Tom. So, Vinwraith, you weren't talking about me trying to do the... Yeah, I still don't know. Let me just actually try. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't think I was doing any special move. That's just the normal press the Y four times. Press the select button to taunt. If you taunt an enemy mid-combo, it gives you a bonus to your rating. What? Cathcart made that up. Oh, it does taunt. <laughs> Taunt gives you a bigger bonus, that's why it's worth the price of a full game. No, no way, come on. Mark's on the 28th, I'm going to try and watch Level 16 at a boutique theater. It's a sci-fi movie that seems to have gotten decent reviews. The director, Danishka Esterhazy, was born in Winnipeg. Don't know any of her work. All right, Level 16, let me make a note of that and look that up later. Level 16. No, I wanted to go over there. There was something across the way. Greg Ambos quoting Monty Python now. That's what we've come to. Hey, no, they can't have shields. Uncool. So I guess I got a table hop around him. Or no, is that table? What is that? Yeah, see. Let's see how their shields.
shields react to my arm electricity. Yeah! Oh, shoot. Did I just lose an arm? I did! I just lost... I even saw it happen. That's what that little slow-mo... So I've got that down pat. The, well, look at what, what? Look at the dude's sword. What is he from Dark Souls or something? Wow, I did like a. See, I'm taunting him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, I guess you have to stand still to taunt. So does the B button do nothing if you've lost all your arms? Yeah, look, I have no arm now. Uh, okay, game, can you drop one of those mini arms in front of me now? And I got my arm broken. Uh, can I get the van? Right, I'm guessing I go in there, which means there's gotta be some... Yeah, look, I almost didn't pick up these red orbs. They're gonna be... They're gonna get me that much closer to that extra taunt. All right, I'm guessing, this is just me predicting, if I walk around that bloodstream, there's going to be an arm lying on the ground. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I wanted an arm. Look, sweet. All right, this is the what is it? Gerbera. Is that the name of a baby food? This is the baby food arm. Let's see what it does. Is it the time arm? Well, how is that any different from that? Huh? Gives you an extra jump. Cathcart says. No, it doesn't. Oh wait, do I hit it and then? That's not... Cathcart, you're lying. You only have the double jump when you're up against a wall. With, uh, with Nero, that is. Oh, come on, how is that not a thing for me to... Oh, there, okay, it is. <clears throat> Watch, here's double jump. Well, okay, I didn't even need it there. Oh, Cathcart says no, there was another... He's thinking of a different arm. <laughs> Greg Ambrose, that's the talk to the hand hand. <laughs> it is kind of a... <laughs> Those look like spider eggs in Diablo that have treasure in them sometimes. Oh, look, a punchline. Oh, get it? Punchline. Why did I not get that before? Whoa! Bunch of dudes in here. So I think one of the things I'm doing is when I knock someone down, I'm swinging over their heads. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uncool! Uh, break. Actually, okay, well, that probably wasn't a good idea. Let me Gerber arm him. Oh, so that was cool. Alright, I'm coming around on, on uh, Nero here. 
Yeah, I would love to just take, you know, a week off. I, I, I'd take a week off to just play Dragon's Dogma for a week. Get into that game. I loved some of what they were doing. Is it true there was no fast track? Oh, there's an elevator. There was no fast travel in Drag Dragon's Dogma, was there? And it had the super dark night. Maybe there was some fast travel. And it had those really cool boss fights. <clears throat> Actually, they weren't even boss fights. Just like a regular troll. Just stuff out in the world that was like really freaky and big. Good night, Vinwraith. See you next time. Have a good weekend. Christy Gaines, no time. Dark Knights, super fun combat. Cathcart, Dragon's Dogma is coming to Switch in May. No, that's not true. Cathcart, you're just trying to trick me. Oh, wait, how can I get that stuff? Jump and get it? I'm going for it. See, I'm that much closer now to buying the three million, the, the $60 taunt. That's what it should be known as from here on out. Uh, Markinson, are you going to be watching the new Harmony Corinne movie? Is it like beach, beach goers or beach snappers or what? Uh, but yeah, I'm on board for a Harmony Corinne movie. Uh, I love Harmony Corinne's appearance in that, uh, shoot, it's that putative, uh, it's not putative, uh, it's that Michael Pitt playing Kurt Cobain movie. What the heck is that thing called? But Harmony Corinne has a great, the beach bum, thank you, Markinson. Harmony Corinne is a and d, &D nerd who uh, corners him at a, a club, Kurt Cobain is talking to him about Dungeons and Dragons. Dragon's Dogma is a weird combo. Gear and levels in combat. A strange mix with exploration. Is it really coming to the Switch? Seems like the sort of thing you'd want to play on a PC, though, right? Maybe not. I guess everything you want to play on a Switch, right? Dragon's Dogma and Devil May Cry director Itsuno says that if we buy... Oh, that's the relevance. That's why you guys are talking about it. Uh, says if we buy Dragon's Dogma on Switch, they might port Devil May Cry 5 to Switch as well. The movie's called Last Days, Markinson. Is that Gus Van Sant? But yes, definitely Last Days. Okay, look, behind here, there's going to be... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Rude! A tentacle. It doesn't even drop treasure. I will take that. What does that do? Uh, you collect a set of them for maximum vitality. Vitality is health, right? Why does a blue crystal improve your health instead of a red crystal? I guess they're using red for something else. Greg Ambrose, yeah, I found that secret tentacle. I mean, achievement for that. There! Oh, sweet! I cashed it in. I have another d bar of health, which I can definitely use. Alright, let's get bloody. It is Gus Van Sant, Morgan says, of last days. What's Gus Van Sant been doing lately? Here I am, Augustus glooping. Good. Oh, <laughs> he does have blood on him, doesn't he? The... <laughs> All right, uh, let's go this way. Yes. Oh, sweet! All right, guess he's. Coming to join us. So, think you can make it all the way here? Duh. Who do you think you're talking to? Let's see, the judges are holding up their scorecards. 
3.9, and yeah, it's a pretty weak entry for Nico. She can do better. Right. Okay, Ambrose, so this is like inner space, and you're going through the veins of some alien thing, destroying all the blood clots so it doesn't have a stroke. <laughs> and also, there's a van. Inner space doesn't hold up. Again, I'm not sure it ever did. What is this? Color Oh, this is my gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should spend 35000 on my gun. Blow all my money. The final upgrade. Cram an explosive power into your special bullets. Hold X to fill... Mm. I feel like that's baby mode. Like, just relying on bullets. I want to get better at this other stuff. And I think I'm just going to save my money. These are pretty dirt cheap. I don't feel like I need to buy them yet, though. I don't even know what they do. Okay, let me look up what the Gerbera... A mobile device letting you cancel attacks with shock waves or fire a converged beam of powerful energy. What? I didn't see any of that. Oh, is the powerful energy if you break it? I've already forgotten what you guys have tried to teach me about the arms. Oh, Greg Ambrose says that's a Sarah Palin. Eh. Mmm. No, she doesn't quite tickle my Sarah Palin fancy. Who would play her in a movie? I mean, she's definitely like nerd sex fantasy stuff. Uh, just kind of a Lisa Bonet thing going, I guess. I don't know why. But no, definitely not Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin is just like white bread attractive. Just generic beauty queen attractive. Uh, all right, let's get, I think I'll just save my money for later. Hazy Silhouette says, you betcha. Don't think I don't know it that you're, you're doing, Hazy Silhouette. So, oh, Gus Van Sant was, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Oh, okay. Joaquin Phoenix, Jonah Hill, Rooney Mara, Rooney Mara Jack Black. <clears throat> you guys know that Rooney Mara and Kate Mara are sisters? If you don't believe me, look it up. It's true. True fact. Not many people know that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A dude. Let's try the arm. Didn't seem to do much. I guess that cancels attacks. Kill that bug. Doesn't he heal people up? And by people, I mean scary bug monsters. Oh, you know what? Am I following this, like, electrical cord here? Is that what the, the game is sort of telling me? Let's follow this weird little artery or whatever it is. Markinson uh, is pointing out Shadow Warrior 2. There's a great game. is 75% off on Steam. music is way better than the Perry Farrell rock that was playing before. Christy Gaines rewatched School of Rock the other night, so she won't say anything against Jack Black. Greg Ambrose, so they related to New York Giants owner John Mara. Greg Ambrose, they're the, his niece. I just made that up. I think, actually, that, there might be something there. I don't remember sports facts. Alright, I've got the... Tomboy. Let's see what it does. Looks like it revs up. Oh, oh, I've been forgetting to rev up the sword. Not that I know how that. And the overture. Isn't that just the generic arm? Yeah, the electricity. Oh, boss fight because we just had the van, of course. 
Yeah, Lord Cosk, I really should be off mic. But I feel like I'm hanging out with you guys instead of playing a game. Tomboy charges up your sword and gun for a while. Oh, wait, let's enjoy this. Uh, Lord Kosky, just in time for a boss fight. Uh, what's the deal here? I forget. I did one of these. Alright, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to jump? No. I'm supposed to fight this crystal? Dodge that. Oh, well, I didn't dodge that. Oops. Did not dodge that. I think shooting it brings it down here where I can punch it. There, I beat this boss. Cathcart, attack the crystal thing till it breaks, it shields him. Okay, good. I got my health back. That's good. Wait, are there more tentacles? Oh, shoot. Doesn't seem to be hurting it. It's taking a little damage, right? No? Virtually no damage. Oh, there we go. Thanks for dropping that little health crystal. Oh 
my gosh, look at my health. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do a revive here, I'm guessing. Is that a good or bad thing that just happened? Like a bad thing. So was that a scripted failure? I guess so. Like, I couldn't have beat it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Greg Ambrose. And now there's Diablo. This game rules. I think that was Diablo. Um, <clears throat> good. I'll take that. And notice this was not on auto. I've taken the training wheels off. But I'm still playing on baby mode. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to do a little bit of that tonight. Where more of that came from. I do think I'm going to play through this. I am really enjoying it. Uh, I might just sort of be popping up over the weekend. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Enjoy your second viewings of Captain Marvel. And I'll see you guys later. Cheers. Oh, I didn't do the music. Uh, you know what? You'll just have to pretend it was there. <laughs>